And from the CD Swivelicious, that is music from the Swivel Hips. They're out of Connecticut, and we've been playing their music for a few years now. Great, great band. And Swivelicious, of course, we've been going through the various tracks throughout the program uh, in the past few weeks. And this band excels live on stage, as evidenced by their opening performance for Michelle Iniacello a few weeks ago. And the Swivel Hips, we have two members of the band in the studio right now on the upper room. We welcome Dawn and Deb from the Swivel Hips. So thanks to come down in the studio, ladies. Thank you, Joe. Hey, Joe. It's good to be here. <laughs> yeah. And and thanks to finally make it down. I know we've been talking yeah, for the past time. couple of years, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's so, busy, busy. So Swivelicious, you, you released it. It's available at SwivelHips.com. Uh, independent release, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, how did you come into uh, working the tracks? I know some of the tracks have been in your live set for, for quite a while, but getting down and putting it together as a band. Oh, gee. Long time? <laughs> <laughs> Money. Yeah. Money, okay. Money and time. Took, yeah, it took us about close to two years to get everything together and get it out. Yeah, and there's a really fantastic producer, Jim Chaftelaine, that is way difficult to to find time to work with him. And yeah, he's really very busy. Really uh-huh. busy. And um, so we got like three hours a week with him, and sometimes we didn't see him for months. So it took a good two years. Um, we, we didn't have the money to just say, hey, Jim, let's work with you for three months. So we had to get what we right. could get. So, so you mentioned the money and everything. The studio is expensive up there or just... just yeah, stu- studio yeah. time. You know, or just the way you guys record and you want a, a live feel to it? Um, well, because basically the way we laid it out, too, we didn't, you know, go live all at once. Um, we basically tracked it out, you know, mm-hmm. doing drums and bass first and, you know, every instrument from there on. And so it takes time to get the basics done. And then uh, we basically went to Jim to mix and master um, in his facility in West Hartford. So... By the time, you know, it, it, you find out things in the mixing phase that you didn't hear when you were doing basic tracks. So, right. you know, mm-hmm. basically you're just reworking <laughs> things and, you know, seeing, Trial how and it, error. Yeah, right. seeing how you can make it better. And, you know, so it, it eventually you get there, but it just takes a while. So h- how about on the bootleg market? How many uh, versions of a song <laughs> like Kitty are there? Um, I don't know. I found it <laughs> on Napster once. Oh, did you? Yeah, Actually, I right. found the track "Daddy" on trading on Napster when Napster nice. was still <laughs> open. <laughs> right, right. We right. like to be bootlegs. Yeah, I was right. like, oh, sure. right. hey. exciting word itself. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the band Swivel Hips, of course, are, are based out of Connecticut, and uh, you can go while you listen to the interview right now. Go to swivelhips.com. In fact, I got the website. Put yeah, it we right saw up that, there. Joe. Yeah. <laughs> I have to get all the info for you out there. Real nice. Who does your site? I do. <laughs> oh, you do a real nice yeah, site. Yeah. Yeah. I been God, I've been maintaining it for since like ninety eight, so yeah, about maintaining. four years maintaining. Right. <laughs> but um yeah, we're we've been tossing around the idea of um moving it over to another hosting company and having another company take over it for us to just expand to it. on it. Yeah, and, and relieve know. some of the pressure because yeah. Deb's got to focus. <laughs> yeah. We got to focus on band stuff. Yeah, yeah, see, so, you yeah know? that's you ideal, know. right? Yeah. So and anybody you know. out there live, got anywhere <laughs> for us to play, <laughs> you just email us, let us know. Yeah, and the link's all up on the site for yep. uh, contact. And of yeah, course, you have, a, you have a real nice fan base um, throughout the years you built on, right? Yeah, it feels yeah. good. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a lot of, it feels like we know everybody. And it's exciting to know that we're going to keep meeting new people all the time. It's just, it's a really good vibe. Just, you know, if people haven't come to the show, please come to the show. It's a great place to network with incredible people. Yeah, that, uh, when I first saw you guys play live was opening for the Neville Brothers. That was about two, three years yeah, ago? Yeah, that was two years mm-hmm. ago. Yeah, two years ago. And you could tell right away, you, you definitely have a, a devout following coming out and checking out. It's, it's a party, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's always a party. So so let let me ask Dawn about uh the pr- the pink boa last time, right? <laughs> the pink boa. Oh. I don't know. Did you still Just have it or you gave it away at no, the No, I the still night? have it. It's party uh-huh. favors. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but that was great performance. You know, it's and rock and roll. I right, was talking right. to my friend about this the other day and you know, a rock and roll, a role play. It's all right. about good time and um, and, you know, my everyday life, I certainly don't dress and run around with a pink boa. So if I can get away with it on stage, well, then woo <laughs> And you and did, it, did it real well there. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the band, let me let me go back to the beginning. 
uh, of Swivel Hips. I, I know you two knew each other for quite a while, right? Mm-hmm. In different we bands actually, and stuff yeah, like we that? We played in another band together for, oh, I don't know, just a short period of time, but mm-hmm. I had known Dawn. Yeah, we were like back acquaintances. High school. Right. Other friends. I was graduating. She was coming in, yeah, through other friends. We kind of knew each other, but right. never played with each other until we got into this other band together and did that for, I don't know, six months to a year. And she went her way and I went my way. I and moved then we to Tucson, Arizona. Yeah. And then what we made you move out there. I don't um. know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I tried to get to San Francisco to be a m- musician or something. I didn't right. know how to play the guitar. Never mind saying. But uh, but it failed, and I came back home and ran into Deb in a parking lot, and we were both absolutely depressed and lonely. <laughs> and like, and hey, let's go play music. <laughs> we are best friends, and uh, we this vibe just started happening, and we were and you know we just patiently waited for the right people to come along, which took a while for Deborah and Lori and you know Breck who came in to play bass, who's no longer with us, but um. He played the last show, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah he actually still fills in with us from time to time. Okay. <clears throat> we because we a need a bass player. <laughs> right. Yeah. Anyone we would out like there? a female bass player. Right. Yeah, because <laughs> Brett, he's the only guy, yeah. who, only guy in the band, yeah. right? I yeah. I mean, he's, he's totally great, and, you know, he went his way, and it was total mutual good mm-hmm. thing, and, right. you know, we're still friends, and he fills in still. And yeah, and the Miss Fantastic Jen Lee, who's an outstanding guitar player, has been filling in playing bass for us, so... Yep. We're blessed you can check her out at jenlee.com. Yeah, okay, yeah, there <laughs> you go. Plug for her yeah. website. Definitely. She definitely. channels uh, Jimi Hendrix, yeah, so if anybody out there has got amazing. that vibe, you'd want to check out Jen Lee. Yep. But um, yeah, so you know, we're still on the hunt, and it's been like the rotating bass player right. thing for a while. But you know, it's still working out, and we're still playing. So. So how how about the two of you getting together and both the press and putting. <laughs> <laughs> put, putting a band together. <laughs> what what kind of auditions? How do you look for all the players? We just we did didn't even really audition. We right. just kind of we met Deborah in a club one night. We were like seeing another friend of ours band, and we knew m- mutual people in the band. And we were like, "Hey, come jam with us!" And you know, she's a professor of music, and so she was just like, "Yeah, right, you're in a band, sure." <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, until we finally coaxed her to come over and jam with us, and so she got sucked in, and and she stayed, right. and she stayed. she stayed, right? And then you La- know, Lori. Uh, uh, Don knew Lori basically. We've she attended a, together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was in another band at the same at uh, the same time that we were starting. Echo Janes. Yep, Echo Janes. And then she moved on and came with us. And I was playing with Breck in another band, and I had known him for like ten years. So it was just kind of like a group of, you know, we kind of knew each other a little bit. And you know, yeah. Just and the thing gelled. is too is that in in this area, there's not you, you can't really audition because there's not a tremendous flow of musicians everywhere. So. Right. Yeah, it's kind of tough, but I mean, we but we were definitely picky about. We knew that it was a vibe more than how well somebody played. We weren't looking for any some grand player. It was just definitely right. a vibe. Someone you know, that yeah, you knew would be all right mm-hmm. for a while. And you right? know, yeah. we we were like family. We definitely gone through a lot of fighting and laughing and crying. Camping. Is it chronicle? <laughs> is it chronicle? Is it chronicled on on the documentary? Um, all, all the fighting, all all the hell no, uh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> no, but keep uh, your dirty laundry yeah. to yourself. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh, swivel hips uh, have some important dates coming up. We should yeah. let our listeners know. Um, you're gonna be playing down in Brooklyn, mm-hmm. Brooklyn at the Lady Fest East at Lux uh, this Friday. Support the ladies. That's mm-hmm. right. Support the ladies. Uh, Two fifty six Grand Street in Brooklyn. And the phone number to get in contact for probably directions and more information, 718-599-1000. And the Swivel Hips go on. Uh, they're set 1020 to 11 p.m. Mm-hmm. 40 minutes. How about when you get out on a bill with four or five bands? Does it usually happen as planned as far as time? or? Uh, you know, it depends on how organized it. Yeah. it is. I mean, hopefully, you know, they'll kind of stick to it because, you know, um, it, it helps when they provide a back line and they're going to have, you know, a, a drum kit and a bass right. rig. So there's not a lot of switch over time. Hopefully that'll be limited and, you know, everybody will get their 40 minutes. And In New York, right. they usually do because they're pretty strict about yeah. Yeah, so what was get it, the off bitter end? the stage. Have, have you guys yeah. played the bitter end ever? No, no not we yet. We played a CBGB's Lounge. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, those clubs you play in. Yeah, you, you're in and out. see two minutes later <laughs> the bass player with his amp and guitar in the street. Really. Yeah. 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 They got the little hooks. Yeah, right. <laughs> Pull you off the stage. There, right, yeah. Yeah, and only about. in Connecticut do they let you go over. And, yeah. Right. You know, <laughs> and the last band gets, they get screwed. They only get like a half an hour, you know. Yeah. 
but they don't do that in New York. So we'll be on sharp. And Lady Fest. Lady Fest too. Um, it's it's a really big thing too. As far for female bands now, Mm -hmm. it it, it's kind of taken where Lilith Fair has left off, Mm -hmm. but it's almost even better because it's promoting local music. You know what I mean? Where to get on Lilith Fair and to get on that bill, I mean. They had like, you know, one spot for a local band and you get the acoustic stage where, mm-hmm. you know, a band like us, we tried to get on and there's no room for us because, you know, we, we got six, <laughs> five, six people and, <laughs> right. you know, we Three can't get it. So, I mean, this is really kind of carried the torch for wh- where Lilith left off. And I mean, they have Lady Fest East, North, South. I mean, London, they're doing these festivals everywhere, which is great because there's a lot of female bands that just don't get recognition and you don't really realize how many there are, you know, right. and so it's really great. And. We've met so many people from New York. Um, Carol Thompson, this girl from this band One in Twenty, she's awesome. She's one of the organizers. Um, just a lot of really good women out there. So we're good, looking forward to meeting more yeah. at this show. So that's this Friday night, and Brooklyn's only about an hour away. Yeah, so from, and then here, uh, yeah. and then please do come down for the CBGB show. That's right. following that's that. Yeah, be good too. that's going to be Saturday, September twenty eighth. The Bowery at Bleecker Street, 315 Bowery at Bleecker. Yeah, CBGB's Lounge. At the Lounge, Lounge, Battle of the Bands. So yeah. wh- why do you bo- bother showing up when, when you, you, you're going to knock out the other band? Yeah, right? <laughs> that's, <laughs> you know, it's gonna no. Happen, right? Yeah, well, actually, I mean, it, this one's really cool, too, because the winner, I guess, of this, you know, Battle of the Bands gets to possibly perform at the Virgin Megastore. So that could be oh, really cool. Oh, that would cool. be nice, yeah. Do you know going in who you're going to go against? or No, no. I have no idea. And no. I don't even know how they're judging it as far as the rounds, if it's, you know, so many weeks and then the winners of every week. I don't right. even know how they're doing it, but Virgin Megastore would be cool. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. I mean, definitely. Can't just, knock that. Just bring the whole box load of yeah, uh, right. delicious. And yeah, we're going yeah. on at 11 o'clock, so if anybody out there hears this interview and you do come down to support, because it's all about who's screaming in the audience, how yeah. we win. Um We'll take you out for pizza. <laughs> right. I swear. Oh. Come up to me. Come to Dawn. Hey, that, that's a good thing. I can yeah, afford she'll be, pizza. She'll be singing lead and also playing guitar and jumping all and over the stage. Names. Taking orders. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Deb, of course, great drummer, keeping the rhythm Thank there you. for the band. And let's see. We're going to go into a song which is featured on, on a collection, right? Hottie. Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah. that was just put out on... Uh, TheFemaleMusician.com just put out a new CD. I guess it's volume three of their Listen, Learn, and Groove series. And um, we we're fortunate enough to be on that. Yay. Hey. And we're here right now. This is from Swivelicious, the Swivel Hips. Dawn and Deb from the Swivel Hips are with me. They'll be with me till the top of the hour. Okay, two in a row. Those are great songs right there. Candy Land and also Hottie from the Swivel Hips. And uh, you want to take a phone call? Sure. Yeah. Sure. All right. We yeah. got a phone call. We'll pop them right through. Hello, you're on the yeah. air. Hello, WVOF. Oh. <laughs> a little, Maybe not. A little, oh, <laughs> we already got it. so excited. That would have been our <laughs> first, first phone, phone call. call. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try one more time. Hello, you're on the air, WVOF. No? They're a little shy there. <sighs> Oh, come on, Don't call us, shy. please. If you want to call and talk to the Swivel <laughs> Hips, our phone number here, 203-254-4111, 203-254-4111. So we were talking about Candyland and Hottie, two, two great songs off the bat and really great live tracks as well. Coming, uh, Candyland, a little James Brown feel yeah. in the breakdown there. <laughs> That was Lori the, gets funky. That was the <laughs> Saturday <laughs> Night Live version. Yeah, yeah right, right, right yeah, with Eddie yeah. Murphy, right? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Yep. And also, I, also, I don't know if I'm right about this, but I heard a little International Lover Prince kind of feel in there. Oh, you know? yeah. Okay, <laughs> I, I was correct on that. Mm-hmm. Done Swivel Hip Style. One of my favorite style. songs yeah. from Prince. So we were, Prince we were talking <laughs> off air about uh, Deb's love for Prince Dawn, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Big Prince fans, yeah. You know, oh and probably God. not as big as Deb, but I remember when I was in high school, um, he was the only boy I wanted to sleep with. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe it wasn't so much a music love right. as much as Deb's. <laughs> right. No, he's okay, we're going we're gonna to try that call. All right. WVOF, you're on the air. Yeah, I um, want to talk to the swivel hips there. Hey. How you doing? 
I'm okay, thanks. How are you? You can go right ahead. Hey, how's it going? I'm pretty well. How are you guys? Good. Good. What's your name? Uh, I'm George. How you doing, George? I'm pretty well, thank you. I just uh, was kind of surfing the uh, radio right now. I ran into your sound, and I thought it was pretty good. It was very, very uh, a pleasant surprise. Let me put it that way. Thank oh. you. Well, George, ooh, I'm, I'm breaking up here. <laughs> George, you are our first caller. It's very exciting. Oh. Oh, cool. That's good. Well, you certainly deserve a call. Oh. Uh, minimally. <laughs> minimally. <laughs> so, so, George, thanks for calling in. And uh, you're going to try to make it down to New York City, see the swivel hips? Oh, I'm heading to New York City right now. Where are they going to be? I'm really from California. I happen to be traveling through Connecticut right now. How long are you going to be in New York for? Uh, a few days, about three days. Uh, uh, well, we'll be down there Friday night if you're still in the no, city. No, I'll, I'll be gone. I'll uh, be on my way to Orange County by then. Well, we'll see you in California, George. Uh, I'll tell you, you <laughs> guys are great. We'll make it out there. I wish you the very best. you got Thanks. a great sound. and Good luck. Thank Thanks, you. And, uh, yeah, check out our website when you get back home. Okay, school will hit. <laughs> All right. Thanks, George. Safe Bye-bye. travels. Take care. All right. Sound like Larry Graham's <laughs> uh, transmission at the Oakdale on there, right? Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, George, that was yeah, great. That was George. And, uh, so anyway, you were talking about Prince. Prince. Yeah. Before I, you know, gave yeah. you my statement <laughs> on Prince. <laughs> That's okay. I'll repeat it. Yeah, was, so, yeah. uh, yeah, uh, Dawn made mention of, of her thoughts about Prince in high school. And, I have uh, a funny <laughs> Prince story, actually, from okay, high school. Okay, go right ahead. The first time I ever was witness to his concert. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah first time i saw him was actually on the 1999 tour back in like 82 we were at the same show and it was Snow a snowstorm Snow oh Civic my Center. god yes yeah. and i cr- i was like uh, i want to say 16 15 16 i don't remember but um i remember my mother wouldn't let me go and i cried and cried and cried and cried until finally she i made her drive through the snowstorm to bring me right. t- and she's like i'm not coming back to pick you up so you better find your way home so Little did I know, uh, I did end up finding a ride home, and it's funny. when I mean, we went into the show, and there was, like, you know, maybe six inches of snow. We came out, and there were three feet of snow. Yeah, well, yeah. And my, I, friend, I my friend fell into the snow, and all I could see was her time poster sticking up out of the snow so it wouldn't get wet. <laughs> and um, basically, you know, had we not find, right, found right. a ride home and right. stayed, I heard that Prince had a party in the Sheridan for all the people that got stranded in the ballroom. Aww. And a friend of mine went, and she was right. like, you missed the party. You went home. And I was yeah, like, oh, my I, God. I stayed at the wrong hotel. I think it was the Holiday Inn or something. Yeah. And, I, uh, I had to kidnap my, well, not really kidnap, but kind mm-hmm. of the same story as you. My, my girlfriend at the time, her mom didn't want her to uh, go to the show because of the snow. Yep. But, Doesn't but anybody back in get the day, it? Though, yeah, you know, 1983, back triple Back in the day when tour. they would still put on a concert in a blizzard. Yeah, right. Nowadays, it'd be like, forget it. It's canceled, and, you know, you have to be out by 11. Right. And, Back then, the party went on until like one thirty in the morning. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? That, that was, was that was good times, and it was only seventeen fifty to get in, or you know something like that. And yeah, God, the, the pink vanity sh- six shirts. Oh, yeah. And yeah, yeah, that, that was cool. Yeah, we're bringing that back. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's what we're here for. So, what was your first reaction when you saw Prince on on stage that night? My, I'll tell just, you mine. At. I was just yeah. blown away, and I still have pictures of it too in my photo album. Oh, of him really? sitting on top of his piano, and yeah, yeah. I, uh, I didn't know he was that short at the oh. time. So <laughs> when I saw him come down the, the pole like that, but it was a great show. Yeah. yeah. It's funny. I mean, the first time I ever really, you know, witnessed him and got into him, whatever, I was like probably like nine walking by a record store and saw, saw the cover of, you know, that the Prince album with I Want to Be Your Lover. We had the long hair and, right. you know, and I was just like, who is this? <laughs> like, right. is that a guy? Is that a you know, woman? And I was just like, I got to mm-hmm. find out more about this guy because he's like sexy and you know don't we all we I all just, love androgyny was, when it comes to rock and <laughs> right. roll i was hooked from that point on yeah. mick jagger and bowie and yeah. right. tina turner <laughs> they're working Shucks. it yeah yep. so let's get back to the swivel hips yeah and uh i can talk about prince all day i yeah. digress <laughs> <laughs> no 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 it's a good yeah. story so um <laughs> the swivel hips uh swivelicious it's been out uh for for about a year or so yeah yeah, yeah actually it was a year in july yeah so, um yeah, and it's it's, yeah. it's been doing well. How, how I mean, about as independent artists, you know, getting the word out? I know I know you bring them to the gigs and everything like that. What's been working for you and getting the word out? CDBaby.com. dot com. Yeah, okay. that's, that's really CD supportive. CDBaby has been a really good online store 
to get our stuff out, and we've sold quite a few through them. Um, we sold some on Amazon.com. Um, mm-hmm. Borders Books and Music in Farmington has been really Great supportive support. as far as letting us put up, you know, flyers, advertising. I mean, we've sold at least, God, close to probably 60 copies at their store or more. The trunk of my Lincoln Town yeah. car. <laughs> the trunk. If you see an 88 Lincoln Town car, <laughs> two-tone. <laughs> Don yeah, bootleg you have it right trunk. there, yeah. Bam, chicka, bam, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, I mean, and yeah, it's you know, every, every time we do a show, it's you know, more people finding out about it and hitting mm-hmm. the website and word of mouth, you know. Right, and uh, how about radio up in your area? They've been receptive. Uh, yeah, about about college yeah. radio. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, Doctor like Long here. Oh yeah, I heard of yeah. him. Yeah, uh, he's great. University mm-hmm. of Hartford. Um, right. You know, Trinity Stores. You know, UConn. Mm-hmm. A lot of colleges up there spinning it. Fairfield University, you have to get on the yeah. swivel hips party train here. It's That's time, right. time to get involved. Mm-hmm. Swivelicious, yeah, right? Hit Southern yeah. Connecticut. Yeah, and hire us for your parties. Yeah, the swivel hips. Uh, trust me, they put on a great show. And uh, one of the shows, actually, the first time I saw you play was opening up for the Neville Brothers. The the pictures with the guys are on your website. Yep. But uh, what was that like? In you know. Well, it was very exciting because yeah. I, I think that was all so new for us. And yeah, we just thought, oh, my God, this is it. We're going to take off. We're going right. to be huge. <laughs> and the Neville Brothers are going to love us and take right. us. And, yeah. you know, we're, we're still on a very much the same level. <laughs> but it was yeah, thrilling. Was. We had we had our own dressing room. We had uh, unlimited beer. <laughs> I think the whole entire bar of our friends were in the dressing room with us. Right. Yeah. It, it was, was like our star great. moment. <laughs> yeah, there were dancing girls and everything. Yeah. On your set, right? We yeah. Out. Right. That was, that was great. Yeah. Uh, Gina and Riva. Yeah, we, we hope to, you know, make enough money so we can just take them with us permanently because they're amazing. They're like the interpretive dancers that Queen Latifah had in her video Ladies First. I mean, they have that vibe with mm-hmm. us. It's like they're part of us. So, But, you know, we can't take them until we can pay them. <laughs> Well, exactly. it's going to happen. We'll take yeah. donations now. <laughs> yeah, right. Call it. No. And, 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 <laughs> and, and you can start right now by uh, <laughs> attending the Swivel Hips upcoming shows. They're going to be down in New York City. First, they're going to be uh, Friday at the Lady Fest East. And uh, Deb was telling me how, how great a uh, group they are, the Lady Fest. Yeah, they're really yeah. you know, pushing to um, keep independent women going and getting noticed and you know, that's that's all you can ask for is just people who have, you know, and give of their time to put together these kinds of events that, you know, it's just great. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Yep. So Friday, September 20th, Grand Street uh, in Brooklyn, 256 Grand Street. The phone yep. number 718-599-1000. And the swivel hips go on from 1020 to 11 p.m. Yep. It's right in the heart of Williamsburg. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I heard yeah. it's right in fantastic the Williamsburg club. section. Yeah. So Great uh, area. they'll be there. And also Saturday, September 28th, the lounge at CBGB's 315th Bowery at Bleecker. And I'll give you the phone number. It's 212-677-0455. And that's a battle of the bands. Get there early. Dawn's going to treat you to pizza. If, I am. If, if, if they win, right? Uh, no, you know what? If you come up and say that you were screaming for us and we didn't win, I'd okay. still take you out for pizza because okay. I'm good like that. I would appreciate <laughs> the, the support. Right. And there's great pizza down in New York City. You know, just oh, yeah. just a quick note, too. Um, if anybody lives in the area of, like, Southington, Connecticut, up in the northern end, we are yeah, playing... Yeah, my brother a, lives there. You know, we're playing a street fest yeah. next week, so check our webpage. There's yeah, more detail. The 26th of September, it's Thursday night. And um, if it rains, <laughs> right. we've been having those <laughs> rainy days on our outdoor shows. Right. Rain date would be the Friday, the 27th, the next day. Okay. Um, so it's, yeah, right before the um, CB show. And it's going to be, yeah, outside from like 6.30 to 8 o'clock, right downtown on Route 10. There's, um, can't miss it, there's a mobile mobile stage unit. I was calling it the MSU. Right. <laughs> the mobile stage unit. That's where we'll be. So you'll be performing there, and that's only about 40 minutes away from here. Oh, so yeah. Not too, not too, not too far. far. Yeah. yeah, and that's going to be a great show, too, because we're going to have both Breck. Breck will be on bass, and Jen Lee will be on guitar. So that means we'll be doing yeah. some uh, wonderful surprises. And you guys switch music. up? Uh, yeah, we all switch too. up yeah. often. Except for me. Yeah. <laughs> Deb's there keeping the yeah. beat. Man in the drums. Man in the drums. Thank That's God right. somebody's yeah. keeping the beat. <laughs> so why don't we get into uh, another taste of Swivelicious. This is uh, something about you, a little change of pace from, from the other up-tempo stuff. So we'll get into that and come back and talk with Dawn. 
and Deb from the Swivel Hips. But first, this is Something About You on WVOF. Another great performance by the group there. So, so what was that like that, that night? You tore it up. You changed it. It was different than the Neville Brothers. Oh, yeah. It was incredible. Totally different, yeah. What do you think, Deb? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm a big Michelle fan, and she's, you know, I mean, her bass playing, her musicianship is just amazing. So, and it, this is probably, that was probably like the third time that I've gotten to see her. So, to be opening for her, I mean, we, me and Don actually went down to see her at Joe's Pub. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, or right. Probably there, like, yeah you know, a, a month or so before that. That was incredible. And then, you know, it, it's so funny. We were driving to New Haven, Jen and I, and Jen was like, hey, did you hear, you know, Michelle's coming to Toad's? And I was just like, wow, wouldn't that be cool if we could open for her? And we got home and Toad's called us. <laughs> and oh, so really? we, I was yeah. just like, you're kidding. So, you know? so they were thinking of you for that. That's yeah. Great. So, yeah. I mean, it just so happened. And we were like, you know, yes, <laughs> right. we'll yeah. do it. And, we'll do it. You know, yeah, we got, a, we got a good friend at Toad's. His name is Jeff. Yeah. And uh, he looks out for us. He said, sorry, I haven't called you in a year, but you know, <laughs> waiting for the right, for the right moment. Right. Yeah, I said, well, thanks. Cause, it you know. was a good match. And I mean, her crowd, you know, a lot of her people in, you know, that would come to see her specifically mm -hmm. got to, you know, enjoy us. And we got a really, you know, a lot of good feedback from that. Yeah. You played over an hour, it seemed. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah, were just, just like, worked. you know, go ahead. So we're yeah. like, cool. You know, because usually openers, you know, you're lucky if you get a half hour to 40 right. minutes and they were like, hey, do an hour. So, you know, yeah, and totally her audience cool. was amazing. It was such good energy. Right. And yeah. the only thing is, next time we got to get Deb up front. <laughs> the drum, the run. So I didn't have to hide behind. Yeah, oh right. my God, that monstrosity right. of a kit that he had. And right. it, that, it was so perfect, though, because Don's like, yeah, you know, isn't this drum kit back here beautiful? It's so right. huge and big. And yeah, our drummer's back there in the corner. So, <laughs> you know, well, you can't well, see her, you, but you can hear her. We saw you. <laughs> you stood up a couple times. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, was yeah that was a great night in the Swivel Hips, uh, of course, are from this area. And did you both uh, grow up in the same area? Yeah, yeah. pretty yeah. much. Well, I'm mm -hmm. Actually, I'm originally from Aunt Sonia. Okay. And then uh, moved up to, you know, Plainville and went to Bristol and New Britain. And so now, I'm, yeah, we're in that area. How, how's the club scene out, out your way there? Um, it's... It's not what it used to be, I could say that. I mean, because I played around in other bands back from, like, 1990 till you know, today. And back from 90 to, like, 93, there definitely was a, a bigger scene for live music. And a lot of the, the clubs downtown Hartford, you know, put in pool tables and kind of switched over to being, you know, pool bars. And it kind of died for a while. But it's it's come back. There's, you know, there's a few venues that still really support local music, like Sully's Pub. Right on, right. um, you know, Park Street in Hartford, which you know, Daryl, he's great. Yeah, really brings in a lot pub. of bands. Always trying to do stuff that's creative and really support the original music. Mm -hmm. The Rhubar too. They're yep, Rhubar getting out there to do that. Um, you know, I mean, the Webster brings in bands and has you know a lot of local openers, so that's that's kind of cool too. So we should uh, open the phone lines once again. Yeah, uh, sure. we'll give it a try. And the Swivel <laughs> Hips are here for our uh, second phone yeah. call. <laughs> Don, who is the guitarist for the band and also lead vocalist, and uh, of course on drums, Deb from the band Swivel Hips. I'll give you the phone number 203 254 4111. 203 254 4111. If you're on campus, 4111. And uh, trust me, we'll say this to the college because the Swivel Hips are incredible live. Great, great band, and you guys thrive on stage, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah. And we hope to come here and play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I'd really like to definitely kick it out for these Yeah. Guys. Joe, I like your shirt in oh, pure okay. thoughts. <laughs> but you know I can't wear it to work. No. Yeah, this is my after-hour shirt. Ah. <laughs> yeah. But actually, it's a, uh, what was it, a title of a jazz CD, Michael Wolf. Oh, I was going to ask you what. Yeah, w yeah that's the title of uh the guy who used to be the Arsenio Hall band director and play at keyboards. So Yeah. Yeah. Back in the day. Back in the day, yeah. And uh the swivel hips. Let's see, this we're gonna get into a song right now which absolutely smokes live on stage. Daddy. <laughs> you love playing that one, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you think we should play that for the contest, Joe? What's what's the contest? The C B C B G B contest. We're trying to figure out what songs we should play. Oh, okay, okay. We're gonna I be we're judged. Having a contest tonight. <laughs> we're gonna be judged on musicality. Yeah, yeah. I definitely put that in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I you mean, know, I'm my my mom keeps saying you you need to ask everyone. Right. 
Yeah, your mom. Your mom was at the. Toast yeah, place. she's yeah, always she's it. everywhere. That yeah, woman. My mom. Oh, your mom was there oh, too. Yeah. yeah, they're both always there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, that, that's great. Handing yeah. out flyers. <laughs> my mom listens to my show like a half hour driving home from her work. She's like, I gave it a try. I gave it a try. <laughs> no, that's sweet. <laughs> music, music wise, you know. Yeah, my so, mom yeah. won't do body shots or anything. I, you know, yeah. we haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> yeah, I'd say definitely, Daddy. I, I'm partial to Candyland. I love Candyland, but. No, we'll do no, both. I'm not going to tell you what to play. <laughs> yeah. So it should be real cool, and we're going to get into uh, something else from the Swivel Hips. This is called Daddy, and uh, we'll be back to talk with Dawn and Deb. Okay, that's a, a song, and we we're talking about the upcoming Battle of the Bands at CBGB's. That is at the Lounge at CBGB's Saturday, September 28th, 315th Bowery at Bleecker. And uh, the Swivel Hips will be there, and it should be a great night and come out and represent for a great, great live band, a Connecticut band as well. So uh, yeah, and yeah. if there's any uh, hardcore fans out there listening and you have any suggestions on what songs you think we should play at the Battle of the Bands, please email us. <laughs> Hit up the message board. We really want to know. Yeah. yeah. They want to know. We value your opinion. You're out there. I mean, we're we're on stage. We can't hear what you hear. Right. So so what songs? Do you see really being the key song? If you didn't play it for for your core following, they'd be a little upset. Um, Do you have any songs that have to be in there? Hmm. Well, they all like Daddy because they like to sing along to it. Right. So that's hottie. a possibility. Yeah, hottie. But I, I also like the, the Latin feel you gave to the last show. You oh, had a little break yeah, in there. There's yeah, a, there's another tune that's similar to Karma on the CD that's called La La Fifi that uh, got, right. a, got the little Latin feel going on it. That's so, a fun song. Yeah. So coming up to the, the big shows, you get a lot of rehearsal time in, or is it, or is it tough with everybody no. all over the place? Yeah, it's it's been tough, you know, between trying to juggle schedules. You know, Deborah's back in school now, and she's a professor. And, you know, so there's a lot going on. But we still, you know, we have time to prepare. We still got a couple of days left. We right. prepare. We prepare. <laughs> and... Uh, it's going to look like uh, maybe next year, the, the Orange County Los Angeles tour. <laughs> yeah. George is going to we'll help you out you, on that. We'll be seeing you, George. Yeah. <laughs> George on the cell phone on yeah. I-95. Yeah. That's yeah, right. we're going to be opening up for the Dixie Chicks, too, we when hope they so. come out. Put it out there. I'm oh, really? putting it out there. I love the Dixie Chicks. Yeah. <laughs> That's guaranteed? We absolutely right. oh, yeah. It's in, yeah, in the making, right? Wish. It's in the making? Yeah. yeah. We're putting it out there. I just say call it out us, loud. Call us, Natalie. Call us. Yes. Right. They're, you know, they're having a baby and... And then they're going to go on tour, and they're going to need an opening band. They're going to need high-power energy chicks. That's us. Yeah, yeah and we can babysit. Hips. We're the right. swivel <laughs> chicks. We can play, and then we can go babysit yeah. their children while, while they they're play. on stage. That's yeah, right. it's just you brilliant. Know. It could save money with us. Yeah, yeah like that's an added off, you know? You know, thing you could sell for <laughs> that. I don't know if, if that ever happened. You want to do that. But <laughs> and their new album is amazing, so I'm here to push Dixie Chicks. Right. Yep. You got to so, hear White Trash Wedding. Yeah. Awesome. Rules. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> so the the voices you heard, the swivel hips, Deb, who is the uh, great, great drummer for the band. Thank and, you. Uh, you know, just I love the show at Toads, the recent show. So I hope people come out and check out the upcoming dates. And you'll be in Southington, the 26th. Uh, so, yep, Southington, the 26th. 26th. Yeah, and I was like, let's see. This Friday, September 20th, Lady Fest East at Lux. 256 Grand Street, Brooklyn, New York City. Showtime for the Swivel Hips, 10, 20 to 11 p.m. Yeah. And also, thanks to Dawn. Thank great you. Great guitarist. Thank yeah, you. Thank you for having us. And uh, come out vocalist. to the show, everybody. It's yeah. all about love. The yeah. vibe is love. Come bask in it and share some of yours. Have and fun. And if you just tuned in and only heard like three, four minutes and said, I, I really dig that band, and, you know, why is that show going off the air at 8 o'clock? Um, they can email me at eastwestdj at aol.com because we'll be uh, re-airing this interview in its entirety within the next week. Uh, we'll be uh, playing it for three days, three nights. So eastwestdj at aol.com. Thank Swivel you, Hips Jill. Weekend. Thank you. Yeah. It's good to be here. And drive uh, safely, George. Yeah, drive safely, George. New York could be rough. <laughs> the ladies are going to see in in uh, Los Angeles. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, you rule. You're yeah. our only <laughs> caller, our first and only. You rule. So uh, we'll we'll get into something, and uh, don't forget the dumplings with Grover Pheasant and Lance Murdoch coming up. And uh, this is from the Swivel Hip CD, Swivelicious, and it is called 
Karma. Hi, this is Don. And this is Deb. And we're Swivel Hips. You're listening to Joe Kelly live on the Upper Room at WVOF. Yeah.